Welcome back to Happy Hour. Here she comes, the reason Great Britain gets up in the morning. Wakey, wakey, it's only Fiona Phillips. Good morning. Get up in the morning, there you go, get stuck. <laughs> Look at oh, this, nice. hey. Fiona Phillips, Fifi, can I call you Fifi? You can call me Fifi, but I was sat at home one Friday night with my husband, yeah. watching you, yeah. and you had Brendan Cole on. Oh, yeah, he's so ungallant, isn't And he? you said, Brendan, you've danced with so many attractive women over yeah. the years, and Fiona Phillips. <laughs> Because you're the only one whose name I could remember because it's imprinted on my mind forever. Because every morning I wake up and they are beautiful, but I another man I can't handle. And it was drawing me the name of my life. It's been a year, I've got back pressure build up, you wouldn't believe it. Jerry, yeah. <laughs> so I think Phil. It's like Phil, 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 Phil. And my, my Phil. dad's called Phil Phillips. Phil Phillips? Yeah. This is... <laughs> It's, a, it's some sort of <laughs> film plot. It's fantastic. <laughs> you, you, love, you love Fiona, don't you? Oh, yeah, I you love you. Van Rod. It means he I... likes you. <laughs> you do that thing where he rubs up and down your legs. No, he's dead, love. The nation is reeling. Right now, the tectonic plates of television have been disrupted and the Queen's dead long live the Queen. You are leaving TVAM. I don't get another Queen, it's what? all right. No, then what? <laughs> We're replaceable. Kelly Osborne's 50 to 1. Lily <laughs> Allen's been... <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I think I'd, w I'd watch them in the morning. Would you? you? I'd set my alarm to watch but them. You're yeah. irreplaceable, love. Let's just say no, that. No, one's irreplaceable. No, I'm just they? saying it. But let's just say it. <laughs> let's just say it. I've just said it. <laughs> Just <laughs> said it. That was very nice for you to say. Yeah, the, but... I mean, it's tragic. The blonde bombshell has gone off, and we. Oh, I have gone off. That's why I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true, is it? <laughs> no. I mean, you, you and old Eamon, you, you're the best breakfast duo ever, weren't you? Apart from cornflakes and Baileys. No. That. <laughs> <laughs> it's like milk, isn't it, Phil? It's like milk, like Baileys. Milk, yeah. It's like milk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so in really Switzerland. He doesn't know what you're talking about. Oh yes, do I do. Oh yeah, yes, he does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went to Geneva, didn't That's I? That's right, we've we, we we worked together. Yeah. Right? We went to meet Phil. Lovely, yeah? And I've seen him behind the scenes with his drums. He's brilliant. You were brilliant before the break, the two of you. Thanks very much. Mm, especially <laughs> you, actually. Thank you. I don't know why that woman left you. Did she go off with a French? Look, French right, French? look. <laughs> you haven't come in here to interview me, all right? Oh, OK. Oh, you, it's table's turn, yeah? Poach turn, game keeper. I don't think she stayed with the Frenchman. Oh, for Christ's oh, sake. <laughs> Collins, but me. But hey, but I mean, you've, why are you leaving TVAM? Why are you giving up on TVAM? Oh, don't you know? I've, do you know my my nine-year-old son heard it on GMTV? Because I didn't really discuss it with him. Oh, yeah. TVAM, yeah. you must be older than you look. <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously, why, why? I mean, you're going to spend more time with your family, cos when I look at that show, there you are on a sat on the sofa, your best mates. Your best yeah. friends on that show, aren't you? You'll get on brilliantly. All well, of we've, been, best... we've all been together for years and years and years, and, you know, we've all grown up together. I was a single girl when I started that. Yeah. And I got married, then I've got children. And, and... I mean, you, you know, but you look like a big happy family. I mean, you know, you and Kate, you, you seem to get on brilliantly. I knew you were going to say that. You, uh, that isn't... Well... Where do I start with this, Phil? You see, you wouldn't say that about you and Big Bob. No. Or him and Mike Rutherford. No. But people pick on ladies. Yeah. And say that they that, that they don't get on. <laughs> it's just not true. There was anyway. I don't know if anyone knows it. See a bit of nerve anyway. There was something in the yeah, papers. <laughs> Said you get along really well, and then all of a sudden you're going bad no, people. I know, that's, I know what you're referring to because there oh. was there was a whole pack of 
untruths. It wasn't papers, even it was in the papers and it wasn't true. It wasn't true. I know you <laughs> believe go. everything that's in the papers, but it isn't you can't the papers, it's true. true. No, it's not true. And in fact, Kate and I phoned each other up that weekend when it was in the papers and the subsequent week weekend because they yeah. can't let it go and laughed about it. I mean, it's, it's. And I find it insulting when they should actually celebrate women, you know, with children and everything, still working and doing things and, yeah. and all they want to do is say, you're having cat fights in the corridors. Yeah. And I'm working when she's not, she's working when I'm not saying yeah. anyway. Okay, fair play. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that again. We're not going to let that, <laughs> not gonna let that take the genie out of the bottle again. I promise, I will not bring you up the subject. Like I know what it's like. For fuck's sake. The truth is. The truth is. No, I mean, the reason... It's all right, you're safe with me. Yeah. You're safe with me, Pete. Yeah. The reason I get up in the morning, though, is a full bladder, but... The thing is... <laughs> TV AM sofa, though. I mean, who's, I mean, who's going to replace the, 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 the dent? The, the, the dent. The, there's there no dent. A, there was a dent when Eamon went. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> I love Eamon. I mean, have you ever put your hand down the back of the, the sofa to see what's there? We throw all our rubbish behind there. It's mate. not that phoning cash. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, Mr. Gray. But you've, like you say, you've met Phil before, did you? You've interviewed Phil. Yeah, lo well, lots yeah, of lots times. Lots of times, yeah. 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 Been on he's the couch lovely. with her in the morning and everything. I know, his mum, his sister, <laughs> not intimately, but yeah. I know they're, lo they're lovely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you've interviewed loads of celebs. Who's been the worst behaved celeb? Who's been the hardest work you've ever had? You know, I don't like to say that, cos I, I don't think it's fair. Plus, Mariah Carey's publicist always phones up and says she's going to see me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The thing is, though, you had, had the meals on, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> and that's all I said during the interview. Yeah. 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 What was that? What happened there? Because she kind of like. She, well, well, was that the famous one? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Because she had enough for the papers, funnily enough. Yeah. <laughs> she had enough of what they're saying about her in the papers. And one story tipped her over the edge, and she just wanted to come on and say, look. None of this is true. So, um, and she was just... She, I felt very, very sorry for her. She was shaking. Yeah. She was breaking down. And yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, of course she was, yeah. <laughs> no, it's tragic, it's tragic. And then, of course, she got what was up to then, the record settlement, Phil. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. you, know, you know what? I think she would say... Up to then. <laughs> <laughs> so much for the tax dodge, eh? Now, I think... <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. Sorry, Phil. You know, we're not, we're not going to, we're not going to dwell on that. No, no, we're not. We're not. Can't no. afford to. No, can't afford to. <laughs> <laughs> Move on. Move on. Put the band back together on tour. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, though, I mean, you, what are you going to do with yourself when you quit the sofa? My brother's got a pub. Really? Yeah. The Cardinal in Kingston upon Thames. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. And if I'm unemployed come January, I'll be heading down the Cardinal. I've pulled pints before. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely image. A beautiful image. It's <laughs> <laughs> all in the wrist. Now, there was an early, there was a story earlier this year, though, and I can't believe this or not, it was in the papers, but you... In the papers? It's true. Is it true you were asked to join the government? That's true. I mean, we all heard that. <laughs> Jesus Oh, Christ. did you? <laughs> I think most people thought that, but clearly, you know. What happened then? Was it you got a phone call from Gordon Browns? Yeah, yeah and I went in to see him. He was still Chancellor at the time, and I went in to see him. Don't look at me. What were you going to be? Well, he wanted me to sort of make the health agenda a bit more popular. Bloody hell! <laughs> I was a radiographer. I trained as a radiographer. Oh right, so oh right, so you. I wasn't very good. Been in an hospital. Fantastic. Yeah, because you had it. Because I've babies. got. I've actually got. Your red box here, your government red box. There you go. <laughs> um, and it's got your ten point plan in it, which I found on, the, on, then. It's on the. Oh envelope. no, I um, did write a ten point plan. Yeah, you did write plan a ten point well. plan, didn't you, darling? Did they, were what they going to make you an MP? Say... What were they going to do? Were they going to make you a baroness or something? Were they? Yeah, because I wasn't an MP, and yeah. they would have had to make p bounce me into the Lords. And point three of your ten-point manifesto is ban all titles, including Baroness and Duchess. You see, I, I wouldn't have taken that. Right, so you didn't think it through, I did you? Want that, uh, no. and, uh, <laughs> I've got a ten-point plan. Uh, no Guardian readers, no students, no French, uh, no Duran Duran. <laughs> There's five of them, so that's up to ten. <laughs> now, no, seriously, I think you should be the new Prime Minister. I think you should take over for Gordon Brown, and he should do <laughs> breakfast. That'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs>
Simple straight job spot. That'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? <laughs> and they're coming up. No, no, you can beat the weather. He's very, he's very charismatic. Oh, come off it. You gave it. Um, right, so when the cameras things. aren't pointing at him, he's charismatic. Yeah. But when they are, suddenly he vanishes. But that doesn't make him a bad man, does I'm it? I'm not saying it makes him a bad Blair, man, love. Well, Tony Blair performed in front of the cameras and everyone slated him, and yeah. Gordon can't, and can't. everyone slated him. So, you know, can't win, you can't can. win, can you? No, you can't win, yeah? <laughs> that's a beautiful way to sum up this interview. <laughs> 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 well, we'll finish there.